Welcome back to Booster Therapy, your cure for that pack cracking addiction. We've got another box and our final box for our patrons, and it's a box of Throne of Eldraine. So, we're going to get this cracked on open. We're hoping for, honestly, just as good of a box as we had last time. It was uh, just a really awesome, solid box. I think all the patrons really made out well. So, hopefully, we'll have a similar result. Um... So we've got, I believe, 12 patrons to open for on this particular box. So let's get right into it. If you want to become a patron, check the links in the description. A lot of awesome options there. Otherwise, you can like, subscribe, share with your friends, and make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss a video. All right, well, let's jump right into it here. Our first patron up is going to be Robert J. Robert, we thank you very much for supporting us here on the channel. And, uh, of course, we wish you the very best of luck. So, let's get into it. We're going to start it off with a mythic right away. The Cauldron of Eternity. Beautiful. Well, that's what I like to see right away are some mythics. Let's see if we can keep them going. Big, giant mythic box would be really, really sweet. Let's see if we can pull that off here. And a Yorvo. I do like Yorvo. He's big, he's dumpy, he's mean. He just gets bigger. You just gotta get him trampled somehow. But if you like green stompy like I do, your vote is your friend. All right, Robert, your last pack here. Good luck. Which is up and into? Nice. The Ara first of Lockthwain. And a dwarf in the back. Awesome, awesome. Really good start there for you. Um, I think you got pretty much nothing but, you know, honestly, pretty just useful cards, so I'm pretty happy with that. All right, next up, we've got Raul. Raul's getting three packs with us and been a longtime supporter of the channel, so can't thank you enough for that. All right, let's see how you do. Lots of good cards in this set. Big Beanstalk and a Clackbridge Troll. Throw on the beanstalk as well. And a food token in the back. Alright. We got pack number two of three. Can we sneak another mythic? Or, perhaps even better yet, a fabled passage. That thing's like close to 20 bucks. Sir Conrad. And oh! Mia, it's a spicy a and an ember cleave. Man. Fantastic start for this video. Embercleave, absolutely amazing. Absolutely amazing card. That thing is just, just straight up murders you when that thing hits the board. And you can stealth it in, which makes it even more deadly. And the Charming Prince. With a food token in the back. All right, well, once again, I think uh, pretty stinking good there for you, so... Overall, I am uh, I'm very happy so far. Just doing some off-camera stuff just to get our, our packs in order here. Next up, we've got Paws. Paws, again, has been a longtime supporter. He's got his own YouTube channel as well. Does a lot of giveaways on there, and uh, hopefully we can give him some good cards here. All right, a Black Lance Paragon is what we're going to start with. With a foil, Mantle of Tides. Nothing in the back. All right, pause. Come on. Let's get you something good here. Let's get you a Fabled Passage. Nice and pricey card and a very useful card. Into the Worthy Knight. We're going knight-themed for you here with a fairy token in the back. And the last pack for pause. Come on, pausey. Let's get you some gold. Oh, mamma mia, that's a spicy oh, meatball. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I think we got you some gold there, buddy. Wow. And a searing barrage. Wow, wow, wow. I think I dumped a uncommon somewhere over here. That'd be crazy. Yeah, doesn't matter. We'll look at it later. Awesome hit. Wow, we are, uh, I guess, just giving away mythics to... Everyone at this point, everyone gets a mythic. You get a mythic. You get a mythic. You get a mythic. 
All right, uh, next up um, is going to be Patrick R. Great name, Patrick. One of my favorite names, if I don't mind saying so myself. So good luck, Patrick. Man, we're getting all the mythics. Maybe this will just be a gigantic mythic box. Hopefully. We want everyone to be a winner. All right, Castle Garenbrig. That's a good one. Ooh, and a foil glass casket. I don't know if that's getting as much play as it used to. I think it's kind of been replaced by some other removal, but it's still a good card. All right, onto the uncommons, into Once Upon a Time. And you got the foil rare, Gadwick the Wizened. Wowza, wowza, wowza. All right, and your last pack. Man, what a stinking start to this box. Incredible. Drown in the lock, very nice. Into another mythic, wow. Harmonious Archon. And a food token in the back. This is kind of insane. All the power just sitting on top. So Patrick, thank you for uh, becoming a patron of the channel. And uh, we, again, really do, Brett and I, appreciate everyone's support. Next up, we've got friend of the channel and patron of the channel. We've got Mitch. Mitch P. Mitch. Mitch was playing some Commander with us and Brett did the ultimate betrayal the other day, and uh, Mitch was big enough to forgive him for it, and he beat him the next game. Escape to the Wilds. It's going to be your first rare. And a bear token. <laughs> Brett promised he wouldn't hurt him, is what happened in the, in the game of Commander, and uh, Brett just started blowing his stuff up, and he said, well, I didn't hurt you, I just blew your stuff up. So nice and evil. And the Faberro Elder. And your last pack, Mitch. But Mitch said, all right, I'll forgive you. I'll forgive you this time. All right, what are we going to get in the clothes here for you, Mitch? You are going to get a nice Atorbrand. Atorbrand is a very useful card. Well, it feels weird not hitting a Mythic, doesn't it? Just seems... Uh... Seems a little almost strange. I've grown accustomed to hitting mythics in every single one. All right, we got another three packs coming. This is going to be for Kylo. Kylo, thank you again for being a patron, and uh, good luck to you. Good luck to you. Ooh, camera, come on. Didn't like that. Ooh, the Hushbringer. And a beautiful looking showcase Reaper of Night. And a rat token in the back. All right, pack number two. Can we get a monster hit? Like I said, we're not greedy. Let's just get a let's just get a fabled passage. Just a regular old rare. Just a regular rare. Oh, Fay of Wishes. I do enjoy this card. Oh, and festive funeral with a human token in the back. All right, your last pack. Good luck. See if we can sneak you a mythic. Cauldron Familiar into Sundering Stroke. I've mentioned it before. Really awesome limited card. Not so great on the constructed side. At least in my humble opinion. All right. That's another patron down. Next up, we've got King Sundere. Or when I looked it up, online because I am not a, an anime watcher I couldn't help but laugh at some of the pronunciations I don't even know if I said it right but uh, the generic robot voice looked it up and it said soon dare soon dare and for whatever reason it just had me absolutely rolling with laughter with that generic male robot voice trying to say something and nice a showcase giant killer that looks really sweet. And a clockwork servant. Look at him, he's such a hard worker. Yeah, so thank you very much for joining this uh, this sloppy crew and hopefully passing some of the time for those of us, most of us who are, um, you know, just kind of stuck at home. All right, the opportunistic dragon. And also just want to give a, a shout out to 
anyone who's out there in the field, particularly the medical field that is, you know, either in the thick of it right now or, or very much soon to be. So big shout out to you guys. Um, really do appreciate it. I know I've got some family that are involved in the medical field and uh, it's just kind of building up here. So give them some love. Oh, we got the Grum Gully. And a, <laughs> a questing beast. There you go. Oh, oh my god. And a foil gilded goose. Incredible. What is going on with this box? This is insane. All right. Well, we're up to like 94 mythics, I think, at this point. So not too bad. I don't know where Questing Beast is settled in at this point. Um, I, it's still an unbelievable card, regardless of the price. Uh, next up, we've got Joshy D, the Cheshire Cat. He doesn't know if there's any mythics left, but he's going to go for it anyways. He's going to see if he can get that fabled passage. Good luck to you. Another Gadwick. Awesome card. And a boar. Where are we going here? Trying to dig into the box there. All right, Joshua. You are going to get a Vantress Gargoyle. It's an interesting card. Definitely has some use, very particular use. You kind of have to be doing a mill concept to get something out of it. But it's a pretty awesome limited card. Just a massive big body. Ooh, Mystical Dispute. That's a good one. And Sorcerer's, uh, Sorcerer's Spyglass. This is uh, maybe multiple reprint. Um, I think it was in Ixalan, if I'm not mistaken. And a knight in the back. And it may be older, or did it come... It must have been Ixalan. That seems kind of pirate-themed. Seems where they would be with that. All right, next up, we've got three more packs coming for Jonathan V. Jonathan is a newer patron of the channel, so once again, we thank you for your support and wish you the very best of luck. It's a good luck witching well. And a lucky clover. Into Castle Octwain. Awesome card. Probably the best of the castles. Um, but those are those have all really kind of gone up in price. I think people kind of were super high on them initially, then it kind of faded off, and now I think it's kind of bounced back. People are starting to appreciate the value out of those. And Piper of the Swarm. And a foil swampy. The food token in the back. All right, Jonathan, it's going to be your last pack of this particular opening, so good luck. Can you get something good? Into the Love Struck Beast. Not bad. Not a monster hit by any means, but definitely not bad. Love Struck Beast is a pretty solid card. Big body on it and a little bit of recursion there with the adventure mechanic. All right, I've got three more packs here. This is going to be for Dan, Mr. Dan C. Dan, I believe, is uh, one of our patrons that wanted to upgrade. He said, I want some packs. Give me the packs and give me the good stuff. And Dance of the Mance is what you're going to get to start. Pack number two. Ooh, it's an evil pack. This one doesn't want to open. Pack number two, Fairy Guide Mother. Come on now. Be something good. Oh, Stone uh, stone Coil Serpent. This card is actually really solid. I'm not sure um, the pricing will pop up. but And the Raging Red Cap. But it is, I think, a very good card. Very, very good card. I could see that over time sneaking its way into a number of decks. It's incredibly efficient and versatile. It can go into, obviously, any color. Mystic Sanctuary is a good card, too. And Castle Vantress. Nice. Probably tied for second, maybe third. Nice little token there. And there you have it. Uh, let's see here. we got a couple of people left, and that will finish out the box. So thanks for sticking around if you are still around. If you're not around, well... I bid you a farewell. Next up, we've got another YouTube channel slash uh, Patreon supporter. We've got Couples Magic. They've got a nice little YouTube channel, and uh, 
it's pretty awesome. So definitely feel free to check that out as well. They do a lot of kind of dueling openings over there. Kind of go back and forth and keep it lighthearted and fun. The Gilded Goose, very solid. And a Flutter Fox, a foily. Yep, so definitely make sure, especially during this crazy slower time, if you have some extra time, you know, definitely make sure to check out and support other channels as well. It's always a, a cool, fun thing to do to make sure we can all stay connected. And the Orth, uh, Oath Sworn Knight. This is kind of the, the meme knight. Hack off his limbs and claim the Firstborn. Super creepy, super evil. Um, there's a lot of dirty stuff you can do with that card. You can um, target your own creatures on that, especially creatures with escape abilities if you don't want that to actually go away. You can gain control of it. It's very sneaky. And the Lockmare Serpent is going to be the final one for you guys. So yeah, again, definitely check them out, Couples Magic. Again, they do a lot of giveaways and uh, a lot of cool stuff. And last, but certainly not least, we have three packs left, and these ones are for Anthony C. Anthony is one of our newer patrons, and uh, he's going to get the last of the packs here. Let's see if we can sneak him a Fabled Passage. That's what I'm feeling in the close. That's what I want. Stolen by the Fae. It's a good card. And a Dwarf. Come on, Anthony. Get you something good here. Get you, get you, get you, get you something good. Here we go. Come on now. There it is. Not I knew money. it was coming. Yeah, it's a spicy the Fabled meatball. Passage. Amazing hit. Fantastic hit. Awesome hit. Good job, Booster Therapy. Booster Therapy, speaking in the third person. All right. Last pack for Anthony. Good luck to you. And the Iron Craig Pyromancer. Again, just another solid card. Very, very nice. Well, folks, that'll do it for today's video. Again, we're going to be trying to continue to pump out one video every day um, as long as we reasonably can here during kind of crazy quarantine coronavirus. Wow, that's quite a weird alliter alliteration we got going there. But crazy quarantine stocked away, hidden away pandemic we've got going on here. If you can't tell, I uh, basically haven't left the house in like two or three weeks, so... It's become a little bit of a madhouse in here, so stick around with us for more. We've got more mystery boosters. We've got a lot of other really fun stuff coming up here. Appreciate you watching, and until next time, this has been Booster Therapy.